Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Elliot Wave Principle. Uh, I'm pretty sure most of you guys are actually following the markets today, and the analysis is acting exactly as you forecasted last weekend. Uh, I'm going to add on to that analysis because the Federal Reserve today announced that it raised basically now the basic interest rate from 0.5% to 1% in by increasing by 0.5%. So today marks a very important day because uh, uh, as our analysis was saying, especially from gold and silver and other precious metals and forex market, I was telling that it's not going to be like that US dollar is going to be strengthening, US dollar is going to get weakening. And today we saw very first time it happening today. And um, we are going to continue the discussion. I believe that this trend will carry on, uh, that Fed is the Federal Reserve will raise interest rates and precious metals will go along with it instead of falling down. A lot of people were completely relying on the fundamental analysis, uh, but today is an important day, uh, giving us an indication what the underlying structures were actually telling us. The underlying structure is nothing else, just a reflection of what people as a, as a massive group thinking. So that they're thinking that uh, no matter what they're doing, uh, the inflation is going to play, play an important role. I almost heard all of the um, questions thrown to uh, Mr. Powell today, and every question was concerning about inflation. Let me repeat it. Every question, I think I, I heard about 10, 15 questions differently, or at least 7 to 8 questions differently, and all of them were concerned uh, about inflation. So inflation is a major topic. We are going to discuss it. the uh, The impact of inflation. That's the major trend. And by um, by trend, I mean trend. It's, uh, it's the major trend is uh, uh, developing. It's in its initial stages. We are seeing precious metals as well, and we're seeing forex markets. There is some exceptions. The forex markets. We'll di discuss them sure shortly. I will also discuss uh, stock market because stock market went up a little. A lot of people not realizing that when going up is just last leg of the correction uh, because the underlying structure is actually completing the correction that's what it is so in today's video we are going to discuss Dow Jones um, S&P 500 Nasdaq 100 Tesla we'll discuss as an example of one of the stocks and we'll definitely look into the Australian dollar uh, New Zealand dollar Canadian dollar all these are commodity currencies uh, we'll look all three of them we will look at British pound and euro then we will look at Japanese yen and Japanese yen have been flying recently and we'll see if we can, it can actually strengthen uh, or come down actually basically. Uh, we look at platinum, a lot of people I uh, hope that you guys have already caught the platinum about 60 to 80 dollar move already happened and already forecasted it. Uh, similarly with silver we have moved also about seen uh, at least one dollar uh, uh, increase in the price of silver since my last forecast, last my, my last analysis. Gold has gone up about thirty dollars. So we'll discuss that as well, and we we'll look at crude oil and we we'll look at Bitcoin as well. There's a very very important um, structure that I'm looking at Bitcoin. So we'll try to wrap it up quickly because the middle of the week. So first of all, Dow Jones. A lot of people are uh, looking at it that it's going gone up. Uh, now, if you pay close attention in my last analysis, I did tell you guys that there is no way for knowing us that this is A, B, and we are going to look at C. Or it's a double three occurring basically uh, or you can say it's a complete structure right over here and correction we can say that the prices uh, went up and they kind of got stopped right now here so this was the last part of the move that we have already seen and i believe that the uh, downfall which has already started from the top right over here would continue uh, we are also looking at a double headed uh, head and shoulder pattern this is two headed uh, mm, there are two heads or you can consider just one as a head this as a shoulder and this as a shoulder so we are looking at it it's a continuation pattern and we can see that the prices are not going to go all the way right over here too so we can consider it as an impulsive and corrective wave and um, you guys are well aware of it that i'm bearish on the stock market s p 500 dow jones and nasdaq and that's the continuation of it i believe that we have seen an important correction happening on a smaller time frame on a daily time frame and then we will start seeing prices down and uh, a lot of people are not understanding that this price movement that happened today is I'm um, considering this as uh, the completion of the correction and we'll see from tomorrow that it will actually uh, start happening so in that regard. S&P 500 is uh, also if you guys pay attention we have a kind of slanted head and shoulder pattern we have right a clear head right over here one shoulder right over here another shoulder is happening right over here so the shoulders are kind of in a diagonal shape we can see that the smaller time frame 
uh, support is coming in handy right on this one over here we have one two and three points so triple bottom or triple top actually sorry triple top is uh, forming and this is quite an important one this happening on the scale and the very look at the the very first resistance is this one right over here and we can see already the resistance happening in that regard so my analysis stays same for s p 500 i'm bearish on s p 500 and i believe that this will actually uh, carry on in this regard right over here too nasdaq 100 let's see what we have here right again once again we have seen a massive drop and then we have seen prices going up and down in the last few days i want to add an important point right here on uh, s p 500 and that is if you look at it this is a classical behavior that instead of prices actually falling all the way right over here it would create a corrective structure close to an important low and that's what the corrective structure here is we are seeing the distribution of funds on this small time frame and that's what it is and it's a very very bearish signal conditional that we do not go deeper all right so this is an important uh, uh, structure that i use in my analysis giving an indication that although normally if the the swing is really strong in that case we will see a double bottom and will go all the way right over here creating a double top or a triple top but in this one right here the bottom we can see that there is a distribution happening and it's been going on for uh, last whole week now so i'm expecting that a sharper move downward is expected and a similar pattern we are seeing on uh, uh, in Nasdaq as well last few days we are seeing uh, prices going up and down and uh, on a four hourly or on hourly time frame we can see a triple top is happening uh, right over here to one two and three a similar pattern once again happening right over here too and I believe that this behavior uh, will actually uh, is preparing for the prices to move sharp or down and once again this area is important we are not expecting for the prices to go deeper right over here too I'm expecting that this will continue right over here too, giving an indication that double bottom uh, on this level is not that important for bears or bulls either, right? There are more bears are strong enough to push through it, and bulls have tried two, three times, but they are unable to push the prices right over to uh, from the very first resistance. So, giving an indication that bulls are not that interested, they are not that strong. We are expecting Nasdaq to fall down. In a sharply manner downward tesla a lot of people uh, and we can see once again right over here too we have high low high and low and we can see that right now the prices is, is just sitting below uh, this particular support even though it, uh, it has passed quite many days uh, we can consider it double zigzag or a single zigzag pattern if you can say uh, we, we, we have a b one two three four five it's kind of an ending diagonal right over here too so you can look at into that and i'm expecting that we are uh, we are going to see prices falling down uh, because right now if you look at this low it wasn't able to create a double bottom yet uh, but it is still kind of creating some sort of resistance in this area and we can see that this is coming in handy right here so this hole can be considered a hat this is kind of a shoulder and a shoulder then the price it did not went through all through the neckline right over here uh, but I'm expecting that this will continue further down once again giving an indication that Tesla is strongly bearish as you're expecting so I'm expecting all the the just a tiny bit of uh, bullish price action from stocks and the stock market itself the indices and that is just part of the collection and we will continue uh, downward Australian dollar it was trading right over here to you uh, in my previous weekend analysis you guys can go back and check it out we have definitely definitely seen a reversal of the trend happening right now so it's pretty interesting point right now for australian dollar i told you guys that we are seeing right now overselling in australian dollar and then we are expecting for the price to go uh, up right over here so we are kind of see expected to see some sort of resistance right over here too and it will probably move side a bit before it can go all the way right over here so when it was trading right over here uh, on weekend i gave an analysis that is going to go up and i think it's going to go continue that behavior and it's the beginning of the trend uh, it's going this trend is going to be an important one it will uh, be a strong trend and i gave a point that at least we are going to see a stronger reversal v i remember that that we expected to see a v pattern and that we have seen already the beginning of it we have seen three bottoms right now triple bottom one two and three and this gives an indication that this is an important 
uh, area uh, for support right now and we should be going long in Australian dollar the behavior in Australian dollar uh, bullish behavior would continue for Australian dollar New Zealand dollar is once again same this is exactly I forecasted I told you guys that we are expecting a strong rebound and this is what we have seen today uh, so this behavior would continue there is uh, no stopping I believe that we have uh, already kind of if you look at the last leg of the price movement right over here we already crossed that and although that we have not crossed the the forward hourly trend line but we definitely have crossed an hourly time frame especially the last leg that we have seen definitely prices have come out of it and this is the the trend that we have forecasted i believe that this will carry on in uh, new zealand dollar we are definitely going to see at least a v shop uh, reversal in in uh, on australian dollar and new zealand dollar and i'll discuss more when prices region here canadian dollar we have seen an amazing drop once again forecasted in my uh, weekend video so we can clearly see that the last leg is now broken right over here the support is broken and we can go bearish right now i gave you guys point that we are expected to clear uh, see uh, we are very close to an important support area and i believe that we have seen the reversal this should continue downward right now uh, once again a v type behavior is expected this is kind of not v but an upside v upside down v or an a side a type of behavior prices went up sharply and it will come down sharply even probably more quicker so this behavior would continue i'm expecting that the prices uh, the trend would continue downward this is an upside down chart for the canadian dollar indicating that canadian dollar is keep on strengthening we are seeing this trend happening and that US dollar is going to get weakening and uh, uh, Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar and Canadian dollar have probably already formed a bottom right over here. It will continue downward. While I believe that British pound and Euro are temporarily going to go up, but I believe that we'll still see some more price action downward. But once again, a lot of uh, in, in these uh, Forex uh, currencies, uh, truncation is a real thing. And now, right now, I'm expecting that uh, this is what once again forecasted. I will told you guys that you're expecting a little bullish price action from uh, British pound and euro and that's what I believe right now we have seen the initial stage of it. The next two days are going to be interesting. I'm expecting that this would actually can continue in this area at least right now. Right over here. And euro once again we are seeing a similar pattern. I'm expecting that euro is going to go and give us an, an important uh, kind of price movement right over here too it's not going to be as deep as British pound but we are expecting this in euro this swing is important right over here too so I'm bullish on British pound I'm bullish on euro for next few trading days Japanese yen although we have seen uh, the price movement uh, coming down and uh, one important point that I wanted to bring to your attention I believe that we have yet not completed a top right over here too and I have indicated this to you guys. I'm expecting uh, some sort of price movement like this. I'm expecting that this support would be con uh, would be broken, and we are going to see a price movement something like this right over here. So we are expected to see prices to come down in this area, and then we'll analyze it more. Uh, we are heading towards that way. This double top that we have happening, this lower top has happening. This is highest top, and this lower top that has happened in last few days as an important indication uh, that trend is uh, reversed at least temporarily we're expecting for prices to fall in somewhere around 122 area 120 ish area and next few days uh, are going to be bearish uh, for the chart and we're expecting uh, Japanese yen would strengthen in the next few days platinum uh, platinum was trading right over here too I told you guys we're expecting a price pullback and then it will go up exactly has happened uh, we have not only got the pullback but we can see that now if you can draw the trend line from the top uh, we have also retested the trend as well uh, the that uh, trend line as well so i'm expecting that this uh, platinum has already shown quite a bit of strength as compared to gold i'm expecting that this strength would continue and we are re definitely looking for something like this uh, in platinum all right so this is an important point here for precious metals and we have seen just seen prices come off uh, the triple bottom right over here so one two and three so it's a very very important level i'm expecting that next few trading days are going to be uh, bullish for platinum 
silver what a stunning price behave that we have seen uh, we have seen the first impulsion and a correction and or you can say that the impulsive price action handed over right over here too uh, you know once again it's a thing to discuss but uh, going on exactly as we thought and that the bottom has been formed in silver it was also forecasted and we have seen a massive price action at least about 90 cent price movement just today from this bottom so i'm expecting that this behavior in silver would continue we are looking for a v type uh, price reversal in silver and we are looking for price action to go in this regard at least right over here too as so a major swing is expected in silver gold once again we have seen impulsive corrective impulsive we have seen some sort of sort of uh, price action correction i'm expecting that we have already seen a bottom forming in gold and uh, we should be uh, seeing once again a stronger price rally right from over here going to this top at least 1999 uh, in a matter of next few trading days it's going to be very very interesting uh, to look at it let's have a look if we can actually find important support zone there here right over here this is an important support zone uh, and we can also look at the last leg that we have here and we can see that we have clearly broken that uh, support line that trend line that was actually carrying the last leg right over here too so this is going to be very interesting for gold i believe that uh, the price movement that actually started right from over here is ended right now and we are uh, very very close actually we have completed the bottom and we should be going up in, uh, in in gold right over here too so this triangle is wave a wave b wave c wave d and wave e i'm considering it that way this trend line i do it in case we can see the sport uh, the price is falling right over here too so I'm expecting right now that we should be considering this as A, B, and C. Instead of considering this as A, B, C, here we can use a truncation. Uh, this is a straighter price movement. It looks just a single price movement. And then we have kind of seen a correction right over here in this regard too. It's sitting on top of the triangle, an ideal place for, reflect for reflection. And that's what exactly we are seeing. This should carry on right over here too now. I can now move this wave 2 right over here too giving us an indication that this is wave one and this is wave two this should continue upward now uh, so leave these resistance lines in uh, for our future analysis and see how the prices happen actually crude oil uh, all right the price action that you were expecting i gave you guys an initial forecast i was looking at this as uh, one uh, kind of um, pattern all right, I'm considering this as wave A, wave B, and wave C, uh, expecting that wave uh, C is going to be some sort of five wave structure. So right now we have seen the first leg, a correction, and the price moving upward. I believe that the structure is yet not complete. This one right over here, we'll definitely keep an eye on crude oil. For bearish, I think a confirmation would come when prices fall below 19.99. So double top is expected or uh, there is a possibility that we can actually see uh, prices going in this region over too. So this is an important place. Uh, we'll keep an eye. Maybe in a few days we'll clear the, the pattern more. We can definitely look at it as the beginning of an ending triangle. Ending diagonal I mean 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So there is a possibility that 4 can come a little deeper. Uh, just be a little aware. I think that the price action is getting a little messier. Uh, we should give it at least next couple of days to see completion of A, B, and C. Our main trend is bearish. I told you guys we have wave one and two. We are looking for wave one and another two forming right over here, and we should carry on downward so that that analysis stays uh, the same. Bitcoin now. A lot of you guys are interested in cryptocurrency, and I saw an interesting uh, comment and that uh, 10,000 prices I'm expecting the price to be around $10,000 in in cryptocurrency uh, what I've seen interestingly that the uh, cryptocurrency is uh, moving together with the uh, Nasdaq 100 or with the other stock market itself so I'm expecting the similar behavior would continue downward uh, we have seen imagine like 
there are people who are still holding silver uh, i mean bitcoin right from the bottom or right over here too so i believe that bitcoin is not going to act as a safe haven it is going to go uh, high when the stock market is doing fine when there's an access of money but i believe that gold and silver and other precious metals are going to be like platinum are going to be a hedge against inflation and i believe that uh, cryptocurrency is not going to do the job for uh, for the investors it's quite volatile it's quite risky um, but we we'll look at it once once it get there we can't say it in advance all you can do is an analyze so on four hourly time frame let me tell you what i'm seeing this pattern is very deadly which i'm showing you guys too this is once again coming from my personal experience we have an impulsive and a correction and instead of saying it's for a longer period of time we have seen and a smaller price movement downward and we have seen some sort of double three structure right over here so w x and y if the price pattern guys goes right over here too it's a larger accumulation a larger distribution but i found that this pattern in which a larger price move downwards it breaks the uh, important support we have a correction and a smaller impulsive move downward and the correction does not uh, does not take a lot of time or does not go deep enough completing a, a, a larger correction in that other way we have a lot an impulsive and corrective a smaller impulsive and a smaller corrective is going to be very very deadly uh, in my experience once again so i'm expecting that we are going to see some sharper move downward and we have seen nasdaq nasdaq went up and jumped up quite a bit stock market jumped up quite a bit but you're not seeing that jump here uh, because if it has followed the same path it would have gone like this right over here to create a double top right over here too so that's what i'm saying a smaller impulsive and a dead uh, correction on a smaller time frame is very seems very deadly combined with this structure so i'm bearish on bitcoin i'm expecting that we are going to see some amazing uh, downfalls in in uh, in bitcoin in bitcoin so that's me uh, wish you good luck with your trading if you are interested in my content come join me to support me on my patreon uh, i'm sharing right now all of my content on youtube uh, so it can read a wider range of people the reason because we are expecting some larger trends uh, against inflation and i believe the world is heading towards that way once again the tr today was the very first day where the prices did not prices in precious metal did not crash as respond to the increase uh, in the interest rate uh, decision by fed which was quite a bit 0.5 percent right so which is quite a bit normally they are expecting to do 0.25 percent this time they had a uh, they actually came already ahead and said that it's going to be probably 0.5 percent and which was exactly like that now people are expecting oh market was expecting 0.75 percent so you see where it is heading the inflation is real right now and i believe the precious metal is going to be one way to fight against it buying precious metal buying precious metal uh buying commodity currencies which are australian dollar new zealand dollars and uh, canadian dollar i which i believe they have already created a bottom already already mentioned it to you not so i believe that euro and the british pound there is a possibility it has not formed along with the Japanese yen. They have not formed a bottom yet or a, an extreme peak. We'll look at into more as we come. But I'm expecting that at least the commodity market has already, uh, the commodity currency has already formed a bottom. Uh, so it's very interesting to see. Uh, next few weeks are going to be very interesting. We are definitely going to see a lot of uh, things happening. Wish you good luck with your trading. Come if you want interested in coming supporting me. It is only $29 US. Uh, that will be a lot. And that'll be a thank you from your side. Wish you good luck with your training. Have a good one and bye-bye.